Hey, we're at the NFL Combine. Doug Lamarice and Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com. Tuesday was a day to talk to receivers, among other position groups. Ohio State has three of them here, just like they did a year ago. Uh, but a year ago, Terry McLaurin, Johnny Dixon, and Paris Campbell kind of took the Combine by storm a little bit. They all ran really fast. Paris ran it as a big, strong, thick, heavy guy who also is super fast. And Terry McLaurin was, I think, like almost the story of the draft at receiver. And then he proved it by being maybe the best rookie receiver in the NFL. He was a, a riser on draft board, ended up going in the third round. A, a year ago, those three guys were a big deal here. Um, Austin Mack, Ben Victor, K.J. Hill, three guys again, not not quite the same vibe though right you talked to all three of them on Tuesday yeah there are some similarities but there are some differences I mean the similarities are they were also in a, a deep wide receiver rotation where you don't necessarily unless you're KJ Hill get the ball a lot so there's guys like Ben Victor and Austin Mack that are coming here and they want to you know measure well run well especially in the the 40 yard dash on Thursday night and maybe um, catch some eyes that their stat lines wouldn't have caught or that they're somewhat relatively limited film to some of the more prolific receivers wouldn't have caught so far. At the same time, I don't think there's necessarily any of those three guys has the combination of things like what you're talking about with Campbell, with McLaurin, where you had body size and speed and production. They all kind of have a little bit of some of those things, but I don't know if any of them are going to necessarily put it all together, even if they run a really good number on Thursday night. I mean, even Johnny Dixon last year running the, what, it was the fifth fastest 40 at the Combine and was still a UFA who is kind of, you know, scratching around for a spot in the NFL right now. So nothing's guaranteed, but I, I do think they could help themselves if they run well Thursday night because this is considered a really deep receiver class. From talking to, you know, hearing the GMs and coaches talk, they think that that is one of the positions where you can get some pretty good value down in the fifth, sixth, seventh rounds this year. Yeah, which is not great for these guys. Like, they're, they, they might get pushed down. And I do think it's fair. I think we have to talk about K.J. Hill in a different way than we talk about Ben yeah. Victor and Austin Mack. I think Austin Mack had some injury issues at Ohio State. Ben Victor was always kind of a, an inconsistent guy who would flash but maybe not do it every time. K.J. Hill's the all-time leading receiver in Ohio State history. This guy has been nothing but production for three years. Um, I think the number they run and what they do in drills and their agility and that kind of thing is going to be a big deal for Victor and Mack if they have a shot to, to interest anybody. But, but I, think, I think K.J. Hill has a spot in this league. Um, does he feel like that? You talked to him for a while on Tuesday. Does K.J. Hill have a confidence that he fits the NFL? I think he does. I think he's proven everything he can possibly do from a slot receiver standpoint, you know, and all of that's on film. I mean, like you said, all time leading receiver. He's going to have plenty of things he can show guys as far as separating, as far as how he, you know, moves in small spaces, his quickness, his his lateral movement, um, how he gets away from from defenders. All that is going to be plenty of that on film. I think he's proven that. Then he went to the Senior Bowl and proved himself, I think, intangibly and put some good things, um, not just on film there, but, you know, just in, in the people that were watching workouts and stuff. And the impact he made on his own teammates at the Senior Bowl, I think, went a long way. So that was a confidence boost for him. Um, I think what he's trying to do right now, is, as, as a lot of prospects will, you know, don't try to get yourself pigeonholed. Yeah, you can go into the NFL right away and probably help a team as a slot receiver, but don't let that be your ceiling. Try to prove maybe that you're more versatile than that, that you could help someone on the outside too if you had to. Although being a slot receiver in the NFL, also not a bad gig not right bad now. Gig. I think he's going to be drafted pretty high, and I think he's going to make it. Nathan, Doug, more Combine coverage coming all week at Cleveland.com.